this 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 and this in our wildest dreams could we have ever imagined that we would be able to enjoy quote unquote the blackberry os on our euphoria blackberry isn't the name enough the os that was reviewed by the likes of mkbhd android authority and so on does carry a heavy name with itself but we must remember the famous saying that every good thing comes at a cost is this one amongst them well let's get started So as you guys might already be knowing to do this method you will be needing the basic requisite in every video that you need and that is root access on your device and I am guessing that if you have root access on your device then you would be having TWIP recovery as well. So for this process to work first that you need to do is the download the ROM that will be given in the description box below. And along with that download the custom kernel flashing that is very important otherwise I don't know the ROM might just not boot so after we are done with the talking what we need to do is that we need to boot into TWIP recovery and for that we need to press the volume down button and the power button together so as you can see we are currently in TWIP recovery and once you are into TWIP recovery what we need to do is that we need to hit wipe and select advanced wipe select Dalvik system data and cache and swipe to wipe and I'm not gonna do that because I already have this ROM installed to show you guys so after you are done with that you just need to go to install and from there select wherever you have stored the downloaded ROM and as you can see blackberry os 12.1 for euphoria and along with that you can see the velocity version 10.3 ledus old kernel so you just need to flash these two so let's select this and go to Atmo zips and select velocity kernel and then you need to swipe to confirm flash that's all you need to do so once you're done with the entire installation process do not have to wipe anything guys just hit reboot and hit system so this will boot your device into the newly installed blackberry os yeah blackberry os and let's see the boot animation okay so as you can see this is the blackberry os boot animation as you can see the infamous blackberry logo the first boot will take a few minutes about two or three minutes because it is gonna optimize the apps and from the second time it's gonna be a bit faster once we have successfully booted up this is the lock screen that you're gonna get with this blackberry os let's quickly go ahead and unlock this and this is the home screen you might be seeing that it's very similar as you can see it's almost is very very similar this is the old version i guess but blackberry has been updating their devices so yeah the one bad thing that it runs on android 5.1.1 i still don't understand that every port that a developer makes is always based on android lollipop and i'm still failing to get the reason so let's just see what the launcher offers us uh, this okay this is the app draw pretty similar to what we used to get with blackberry devices like the priv the key one and still now we get those as you can see we have audio effects somewhat similar to cyanogen mod or even now speaking lineage os uh, we have bbm messenger we have blackberry help blackberry hub is also present over there let's quickly head over to settings and let's see what all do we have let's quickly see the android version so as you can see it is based on android 5.1.1 and the most disgusting thing that i saw is the android security patch level it's of october 1st 2015 so yeah nearly one and a half year old android patch guys i don't know how secure this phone is gonna be if you are gonna use this rom that's about it i think that it is an old port and uh, we that's about it and we cannot really help it and this is the infamous blackberry logo and i really hope that the developers are able to port this to the redmi note 3 as well i don't know why every port comes to the euphoria and not to the redmi note 3 let's see what all customization options have been given to us uh, let's go to display and lights uh, okay lock screen customizations I don't think okay the simple lock screen menu is here they have given it in display and lights notifications privacy brightness level okay ad adaptive brightness have been given 
I do not see any shitty options and blur intensity. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's check it out. Lock screen blur. Let's check this out. Okay, I think the developer has seriously messed something up here. As you can see, it's not actually giving me blur, but it's giving me something very weird. So it's better that you turn this off. That will be even better. LCD density, daydream, font size, buttons. As you can see, we have been given left-handed mode, show arrow keys while typing. That's pretty decent. Buttons and layout, you can customize. Basically, a Cyanogen 12.1 like look has been given to this OS. I don't know what BlackBerry has been doing or whether they have been working with Cyanogen mod or not to build this OS. Okay, I have been speaking pretty shits right now. Uh, let's quickly go to swipe shortcuts. Uh, this is a new thing. Okay, uh, I don't think that this is a new thing because it's just this, I guess. Oh yeah, we have the BlackBerry search over here. That's basically about swipe shortcuts. Uh, this is reminding me of Cyanogen OS 12.1, guys. Though it's a port, it reads BlackBerry OS, but it's so much similar to Cyanogen Mod 12.1. Let's see. Okay, we have what? Gravatar settings. Uh, what is this? Turn on Gravatar Sync in mobile network. Guys, whatever this is, but I am not aware of this thing, and I have never heard this thing mentioned by reviewers or even MKBHD. So I don't think that this is a default BlackBerry thing. I think the developer has added this in addition to this OS. I don't know how many of you guys will be needing this. Advanced interactions. Let's see what else we have. Lift to wake. Okay, everything. Okay, everything is switched on over here. We have double tap to wake. Double tap to sleep. Okay. Uh, prevent accidental wake up. Wake on plug. Brightness control. Quick pull down. Custom header image. Enlarge for slow. I have disabled that because I like the condensed look much more better. Show brightness slider, advanced location settings. That's pretty much it from advanced interactions. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, we don't really have any more options over here, guys. Let's see if we have the developer settings or not. Uh, let's quickly... What the hell? We do not have developer settings as well. So you really cannot tweak your phone like uh, slow down the animations and do stuff. Because I don't know somewhat, some way the developer has not given or not enabled or even not allows the user to enable the developer settings and guys i think that sucks that sucks okay let's just go back and let's see the blackberry apps that we have been given over here so now let's come to the bugs shall we the first bug that you will find in this rom i don't know why developers put such kind of roms if they cannot fix this bug is the wi-fi bug yeah wi-fi just does not work it's gonna turn on the Wi-Fi but it's not gonna show you the networks and yeah that is a bug uh, the Wi-Fi just doesn't want to work over here okay coming to the second bug we have the camera bug that is the camera also does not work so why are you building a ROM when two one of the essential features the Wi-Fi and camera are not working I don't know what's what made the developer port this ROM when these kind of bugs are still present over here I, I am clueless guys, we have Blackberry Hub as well and I don't think that that's gonna work without Okay, so it's gonna ask for Blackberry and this is the default Blackberry keyboard guys If you, I don't know, if you wanna keep this ROM, I don't know why you would like to use this Maybe you just want to have a Blackberry experience on your phone We have, as you can see, a pretty useful shortcuts uh, Like directly you can go to add note, add task, add contact, events, compose email very very similar to CM 12.1 guys what we used to have two years ago and only thing is the is this home that is the blackberry launcher that is different i'm seeing is similar to the blackberry devices i don't know whether it's truly the blackberry os or the developer has done something with this but yeah if you want to have a blackberry experience not buying a 50k blackberry phone and wasting your money then you can surely do that on your new euphoria with this so yeah, that's pretty much it for today. This was BlackBerry OS on Euphoria. I hope that you enjoyed this video and now by the time you know that all the ports by all the developers are not that successful. So if this video was helpful to you or if you slightly bit enjoyed this video, give this video a huge thumbs up. Drop a like before you leave and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more ROM content, mod content on the Euphoria, Redmi Note 3, Mi 5, Android 1 video is gonna come next or soon, very soon. In the coming weeks, more videos are coming on the Redmi Note 3. And stay subscribed if you have already subscribed to my channel. Until next time, stay a freak, stay a geek. Peace.